Um, anyway, um, now we're on to the, uh, shenanigans with the, um, the, um, the, uh, demon doors. Now what I like to do is, I like to sit here and use in flame. Now, while we're doing this, um, you may ask yourself, Tom, this is all pretty fancy and all, but what's the purpose? Like, why are you doing this? Well, the reason why I'm doing this is because, one, it's goodwill experience, and even though I don't need it, two, it's a good way to raise your multiplier. Now, every time you use Inflame in this area, you get roughly um, one times multiplier. Now, I know this may not be the funnest thing to watch, but meh. So, anyway, um, just continue Inflaming and get your uh, combat multiplier to around 45 if you're gonna teleport straight to Gatewood Caves or Greatwood Caves, but if you're like going from Gatewood Greatwood Place that you can teleport to to get to Greatwood Caves, or you can um, I don't know, you can get it to like 90 or something. I don't know. It's not hard to get it to 90. It won't take long. I'll get mine to 50 because you know that's a pretty solid number. And once I get it to 50, which should be in one hit, there we go. Now, once I'm at 50, pick up all your surroundings, because a lot of shit just died. So, um, anyway, that's the best experience gatherer in the game, bar none. There's none better. Anyway, you teleport now. Teleport as fast as you possibly can, and go to, well, I chose for my recall point to be Greatwood Caves, and this lag is really annoying, and I'll be back shortly. Anyway, now we're in Greatwood Caves, and our multiplier is now 24. Talk to him, and, um... He judges your combat multiplier, and, um, yeah, he judges your multiplier, and I think if your multiplier is 16 or higher, he lets you through. So, yeah, just get it 16 or higher. Now, normally, there's a monster in there with the demon door, so you can help to raise your multiplier, but, I don't know, I've never found that the monster works very well, but anyway, you get the Cutlass Blue Tain, which looks awesome. Love the Cutlass Blue Chain. I love how it looks. I don't know. It just looks nice. So now we are going to achieve the next Demon Door, which actually is quite close. Um, we're going to be heading to Greatwood Gorge, actually, if I can find it through this leg. Um, yeah, BRB. Anyway, now that we're in uh, Greatwood Gorge, we can open this next Demon Door. Um... Now, how do we do this, you say? Um, well, his clue is, um, you need to be evil. Now, you can do this one of two ways. You can just get yourself to be pure evil throughout your entire playthrough. You can kill things in front of him. Or you can eat, or you can do what I do, eat ten crunchy chickens in front of him. Now, whenever you eat a crunchy chicken, your, um, um, evilness goes up by five. Now, I happen to have 10 crunchy chickens, and that's how many you usually are supposed to need. So, all you gotta do is just eat 10 crunchy chickens, so that's what I'm doing. And you gotta space it out so they, like, register. Like, you can't just eat all 10 at once, because then it won't register, which is kind of lame. So, yeah, then talk to him. Oh, fucking hell. Um, one sec. Okay, so I just did it again. <laughs> So basically, you have to talk to him before you perform the great deed, or else it won't count, apparently. So yeah. Thank you for opening. Now I'm fat and shit. BRB. So now we're here, and um, we have a bunch of shit to clear out, which we should do. And stuff. So. Now we can go over here and kill more vines in our way. Open this chest here, which contains Wellos Pick Hammer, which, if I recall, isn't very good. Okay, uh, Wellos, yeah, Wellos Pick Hammer sucks a lot. So, um, anyway, the next place we are heading is, um, let's see, are we, are, are we obese? Let's check. Um, yes, once you're obese, you can head to, um, Barrow Fields. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but trust me. Go to Barrow Fields. 
Okay, so now we're in Barrow Fields, and now we're fat and shit, and don't worry, you don't stay fat forever, you, it, it eventually goes away, once you, like, run around and stuff, it's not like Fable 2, where it has some retarded thing. Anyway, yeah, and every day would be a little better. Meh. Anyway, go over, talk to him. <laughs> I love him. He is so great. <laughs> he is so win. That <laughs> weighty wonder. Oh, I love him. He's so great. So, um, now once he opens, you can go in. Old Kingdom Spring. From what I remember, I love the way this looked. Oh yeah, I love the way this looks. L not even the chest, like look at this. It's a beautiful glow to it, I just love the way it looks. So anyway, go over here, open this chest, I forget what it has. Willmaster's Elixir, that's right. Anyway, I suggest using it, you know, I will. Willmaster's Elixir. You know, let's use both of them, why not, even though I'm pretty sure the second one won't count. Wow! So I guess that means our will and health are both max, which is pretty awesome. So now we're just going to head back out, and um, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to take a little shortcut to Grey House. Anyway, from what I remember, actually, about the Grey House, I think there was a silver key chest I missed. Um, so let's try and see if I can locate it. Um, like, I know there's a silver key chest in here, I think. You know what? I'm gonna show off the new um, uh, combo that I'm using. Um, I'm deciding. T I've decided to use slow time and multi hit because slow time and multi hit is an extremely broken combo, especially when both are leveled up. So, um, like if you wanted, I don't know. It's just it's it rape shit. We'll just say that. Um, maybe it's back here. Lag is not gonna help. Okay, um, wait, is that it? I think so. Is it? No, it isn't. Okay! Um, oh, wow, Scarecrow. Um, Lag, you are not making this easy for me, are you? Um, wait. I'm considering, like, just taking Camtasia and recording it straight off, but then I won't be able to de-interlace, and I like de-interlacing a lot, so... Anyway go into this creepy house again and uh... oh I already opened it awesome okay oh oh okay that <laughs> was a chest I couldn't tell so anyway so I have gotten all the silver key chests that's good to know um... so go over here to that um... to this thing the uh... demon door Ugh. so anyway talk to him if you've married Lady Grey you can go through if you have not married Lady Grey, you cannot go through. <laughs> so yeah, you can only go through if you've married Lady Grey. That's the only way. You can't marry anyone else. You can only marry Lady Grey. The Lost Garden. This one's pretty cool. Bleh. Screw you guys. I'm just going to go through them. That's what cool people do. <laughs> Oh, anyway, open this chest like every uh, demon door has. Well, most demon doors. Actually, yeah. Wait, no. Yeah. Wait, no. I can't remember. We get Roanoke the Axe, which is an okay weapon. It's okay. It's okay for the time that you can get it. I just didn't get it because I know that I'd be able to get something better later. Um, so the next place we'll be going is actually um, in Darkwood. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to be uh, heading to Darkwood. Alright, now that we're in Darkwood Marshes, we can get the, uh, next shenanigan for the, um, um, I can't remember. But I'm gonna talk to him, and it's a tattooist, I don't care. Tattoos suck. <laughs> I don't like tattoos. Um, ooh, talk to you. Because I kind of would like more will potions, but you're another tattooist. God damn it. <laughs> it's not really a necessity, but it would be kind of nice. Anyway, talk to this demon door here. And, uh, yeah, talk to him. I blocked the way to an all but the combat hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you request, my guardians will 
test your metal in combat. So this is one of the easier um, demon doors in the game. So yeah, it's one of the easier demon doors. I see you are ready for your test. Very well. 